Hi there. In this in this video, I'm just going to talk a bit about the advanced digitizing toolbar and and the panel actually as well. Uh, it's not a really really in depth uh, view of every single function. It's just to cover off the sort of basic main functions and then just to get you started. Uh, many of my videos are like that really, just to kind of introduce tools to you so you can then go away and, and play with with them and um, learn about others on the same toolbar. So I've got this small scale map here, you know, I'm quite zoomed out as you can see, it's the whole of Austria. Uh, and, I've, and I've drawn three simple, these are just hand drawn polygons. And what I want to do is uh, is kind of move these around and rescale and a bit of transformation um, just on one of them, but also on, th on th all three at the same time. And I want to apply the same rules, so it's perhaps the same distance of movement or the same rotation in degrees, that sort of thing. To all of them in one go. So to get started, we'll. Um, uh, I've got a mix of. Uh, I'll just turn on editing here. I've got a mix of uh, projections uh, coordinate systems going on here. Actually, I've got a 3857 map, but uh, I've got a variety of um, layers in, in different projections. But uh, that that shouldn't matter really for the purposes of just showing the the, the functions. Um, uh, but to maintain accuracy, especially in distance movement, you know, by meters and stuff, you, you, you best to make sure you've, you've got the same system um, for all your layers. The uh, so let, let's start off with a straightforward one. A right-hand mouse click in QGIS here. What version? Of, I've got a fairly recent one. I've got three two eight two. Okay. Um, on right-hand mouse click on the toolbars, you'll see. Uh, advertising, uh, advertising, advanced digitizing toolbar, and uh, also the panel. Might as well switch that on as well. Uh, advanced digitizing panel. You'll, you'll see the difference between these two shortly. So I've turned them both on, and this is what you get. You see, uh, there's the toolbar. There's this lot, and the pa advanced digitizing panels here. Uh, there's nothing enabled at the moment because there's nothing selected to do any work on. So let's just get on with it. I've got I've got editing enabled there. So let's uh, I've got a selection tool already. Let's click on that object. And I've got these little red crosses, uh, little red X's that mark the vertices. Now, you can just go away and do your normal editing and drag stuff and, and all that sort of thing, you know, by vertex. But I want to move this whole feature. And that's what this is for this button over here, move features. So I click on move features. And because something's selected and I'm doing something to it, the panel becomes enabled. So now when I click on that feature, I can drag it, the whole feature to a new location. Okay, so I can move it over there. Um, and literally just move it to wherever I want. So that's how you move a whole feature. What, what if you wanna move um, multiple features? I'll just uh, because that's just one and it's one because it's selected that's a selected feature so I'm gonna um, click on select features again and um, so, and then drag the mouse across these three so now these three is selected and now I'm gonna hit, hit the move button again move feature and this time when I click on any of the yellow selected features I get to move all three at the same time you can see that that sort of dotted line, that sort of distance. You can see the angle graphic there as I do that. Come to that in a second. But manually, we can just reposition however we wish. So if I now click, they'll just stay there. So what about, um, I've moved them, but I want to keep the originals. But that's that is what copy and move is for. So if I do the same thing with copy and move, click on my feature. Since I do this and press click, I actually can get all these duplicated features basically. And it is adding them to the to, the, to your attributes table, you know, to, to, to your layer. So I can go forever. So it's copy and move, literally just that. So I'll just do a um, right hand click on there, current edits and roll back. And it'll get rid of all that. Right hand mouse click just gets rid of uh, um, that those objects being moved. What else can I do? Well, there's rotate feature. So I click on rotate. No, things are still selected here. 
and then I click on any of them. But because there's multiple selected, it's going to do it to all of them. So it's going to rotate. I can force a particular value in there. I'll come to that in a second in the in the, in the panel. But I can rotate as as you know, just see as I see fit. Right hand mouse click turns off rotate. This button here is scale. I'll zoom out a bit. Click on scale. Click on any you know on any feature to to as as my um, focused feature effectively. So it's using that center point, um, especially for rotation. Um, but and then I, as I move the mouse, the object does grow or shrink. Scale up, scale down. And that's that's scale. Right hand mouse click, get rid of all. So that's that that's the basic. There's some others about rings, ring sort of buffer creations and parts and stuff. Knock yourself out with those, but they're the sort of key ones. But but one of the things um, I mentioned was was angle and distance. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna select. Um, I just did the select tool, clicked away, all got deselected. But of course I can always click on this button here to deselect. Okay, that's what that that's for as well. Let's click on that feature again. Just mouse out, middle mouse button. I can drag the mouse, uh, drag the map. Sorry. Um, I want to move this feature, let's say 10,000 meters uh, at a 35 degree sort of angle from the centroid of, of, of this feature. So how do I do that? That's really what this panel is about, advertising. Uh, advertising. <laughs> the advanced digitizing panel is about. Um, and that's where you know, you know the fixed sort of references you want to use, the fixed dimensions. So um, again, uh, I've still got to ed edit toggled on. It's still editable. Uh, I've got something uh, selected. So um, what I need to do is go to move. And as soon as I click on one of these features, you see this little set square and a ruler there that actually turns on, activates and deactivates the advanced digitizing panel. That's all that's for. So I've got my feature. So I'm going to click on it. So now that's my feature to move but I like I said I want it 35 degrees so it's going to be sort of over here somewhere and a good distance so you can clearly see it moving let's make it like 50,000 meters or something so how do you do that well you go into this dialog and you angle that's a type 35 and then in here I'm going to type 50,000 so it's going to be a fair move so it's just to show it clearly the problem is as soon as I move my mouse pointer it resets it all. So 35, 50, naught, 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 50,000. And then that is what the lock buttons are for. So I'm going to lock the angle and I'm going to lock, um, type that in again, and I lock the distance. Now see what happens. The, the feature, even though I move my mouse over here, it is locked to that sort of course, that, that trajectory sort of thing. You know, it won't um, sort of break away any more than 50,000 as calculated by the sort of furthest point. Um, and, it, and you can see the 35 degree angle there, um, just in that, in that bit there in the angle um, measurement. Um, and uh, you can see it's locked. So if I go up here and click, and now, Right, um, just press escape to clear it all. I've now got that feature sort of copied over to um, that, that location, which is 35 degrees. So it's sort of north east um, and up to 50,000 um, meters away, uh, that, that furthest point. So I hope you find that useful to get you started. Uh, the main thing you have to remember about all, all of this is that idea of locking. Make sure you lock. What you want to do you can lock particular x and y coordinates as well you can even lock z um, so type stuff in here you want and then lock it because uh, don't forget if even if you lock that and then come to the mouse the other one y will still be moving for example so you'll need to lock um, what you want so it's very precisely locked in that 3857 um, across that 3857 line um, that's the main thing to remember uh, I've got edits going, so I can either just save those or roll back. Um, I'll just roll back for that layer and I'll turn off editing. 
So there we go. Like I said, I hope you find that useful. Get started with a um, bit, bit of editing and uh, thanks very much.